Hi, people of the internet, this is Darkus Imperaticus, and I'm, uh, I'm trying to record post comment on this video. Uh, that I, this actually, this game that I played like six days ago. So I'm not quite sure uh, what did I do here. I tried to remember it uh, while I played. So this is going to be a surprise for me and for you. So uh, I don't do live commentary because I have a shitty computer because I'm fucking poor. So uh, I I do it like this. You know, I play it and I record it afterwards. So I'm a uh, solicit. I don't know, I just started playing multiplayer so I chose that faction because I want to know what it's like uh, playing them and I will eventually move on to other factions when I master this one. Uh, my ally, this is a 2 versus 2, free, uh, last man standing I think, and my German ally, a Rubel 88 is taking a high ground, it's a smart move, but if our opponent will be on this part of the map, I will be like easy target for them. And yes, I told him please come down and he, he already pressed the start button so he couldn't, so I moved my troops also uphill, so and then he said oh sorry, I will come down. And I told him, let's meet at this little hill here, with trees on it. He said, yes. And this is very dangerous for him, because he has to go past these guys. It's a Egyptian army, uh, with lots of cars. He could lose a lot of troops here. But he is coming there, I think, yes, he will come there. Now, the opponent on my side is Rome, I think, Julii faction. Also, they are, yes, lots of cav and heavy infantry, especially dangerous. Romans are known for their heavy infantry and not so good heavy cavs. But Seleucid, Seleucid Empire are known for their very good heavy cars, armored horses and armored men with heavy spears. It's amazing. <clears throat> I brought a lot of archers and uh, these long spear phalanxes. So uh, I don't. I don't actually count on them to win the battle on no, these heavy phalanxes. I just want them to uh, stop the enemy enough for my heavy horsemen to go uh, on the back and finish the opponent. But oh, my ally is running to the meeting point and being shot out with archers. These cows could attack them on the back pretty easily, but they didn't. Look at this, no spears, only axes and swords. It is very easy target on the car, heavy cavalry. But it was a lucky thing for us. So, uh, my goal was to get on this slope, you see because I will have a height advantage, so it is very important when you're fighting infantry battle which is, is going to definitely be so I rush my horseman on the top so he couldn't easily get get on this height, you know so that was my initial plan you cannot have big plans in this game, you have to 
make little steps and like hope it turn out for the best. So we are joined, we are linked up, and now we can protect each other backs here. So I will. I didn't want to wait for this guy to come down. I want to start fighting Julia immediately because it's always good uh, to fight one one guy at a time, you know, obviously. Uh, so they are fairly distant from us, not too far. They could come, of course, but I will be in the right position and they will not influence my positioning because they are far. So they will have to uh, move in accordance to my movement, not me to accordance to their movement. That's very important in these battles. So I am. I always try to hit the uh, enemy cavalry with my archers. You know, I don't want to waste archers on heavy infantry because they are quite pr protected. You know especially Romans, so, and they, they are now leaking, they notice that I'm having a hail advantage and I will fight Julia, so they link, that was a smart move. And now I'm rushing my archers to actually hit uh, cover. No. Let's see. Yes, you see. I'm trying to hit the first archers, then cavalry. Now I'm hitting, I think. And he's attacking me. So he's. He was provoked. Oh my god, I, I didn't see this. Yes, uh, it's a cavalry attack here. It was crazy cavalry attack because he just rushed his cavalry here. I don't know why. It was a crazy move. And now his cavalry is at the range of my archers, so I will just shower them. Uh, the Egyptian cavalry is wasted, no longer a threat. But if you see this, the heavy infantry of Romans is smashing in my phalanxes. I will try to move this. Uh, one felling towards this cover, you know, protecting my uh, flanks. But to be honest, they are not a threat. This cover. He tried to attack <laughs> this felling's back, but he just separated his main body of cavalry and lost <laughs> lost one unit. So uh, they are becoming less. And less powerful at the mobility game. You, know? you see this? I'm swinging around, swinging around, and I'm just destroying his. He's trying to attack my back, but of course I saved three units of my heavy horses, and I will destroy his infantry, heavy infantry, and his cavalry. Be praised! The enemy general is killed! Fear it's, makes a home in our enemy's really hearts! It's fast, fast events here, so I couldn't comment on my uh, ally moves. But he... I think he... Yeah, he just <laughs> make this big blob of infantry and fight this phalanxes of Egypt. Uh, I'm finishing this heavy infantry of Rome. Yes, they are now. But his his heavy cover is holding surprisingly well. Really well. See? It's like four men, ten men against my whole body of infantry uh, heavy cavalry. And of course I will run now because I don't wanna fight Yes. <laughs> I remember. 
because I don't want to fight them, you know, in the standing battle. Because I'm gonna lose. And my ally is defeating. Our ally has been slain. Oh, it's not. Now we will see if his men can hold in the face of yes, this calamity. He... I'm fairly good at cavalry, and I don't. And he has two units, so he he is still a factor in this game, my ally. So I don't. I don't want to dismiss him. Because of this situation here, where he lost all his men and general. What is happening here? It's a... It's a... Oh my god, it's a hand-to-hand -hand battle with... Phalanx. It's not important at this moment. <laughs> and his heavy c uh, infantry is chasing my cavalry. It is really bad, because they get tired easily. And I'm also tired, but the gods have filled the enemy general with fear. They will get now he flees really, the really field tired. like a coward. And this is just end of them. I'm showering them with ar archers, with arrows, and um, they could, yeah, they, they are wasted. It's over. This is just like small pockets of resistance but on a global scale they are defeated i think the turning point was, was that uh, that the great cavalry charge of egyptians it was really really ridiculous you know charging cavalry at the main infantry body and cavalry body and you know his ally didn't have any choice but to join him because you know that was the only thing to do at that point so it was actually uh, actually Romans were pretty good you know they did what they could but Egyptian Egyptian player were was he made some mistakes of course my player was good And I don't know what this is now. They are not surrendering. They're being attacked! For some reason. I don't know what they, what they are thinking. But this game is over. So, good game to all. Uh, and I think... I think I will just wait to see what will happen. Yes, this is all. This is a victory yes. fit for the gods. I want to see the name of the mark with player, a song so or two. I have to wait till it finished. So, I was Voivoda, my ally was Rubel, and enemy players were Plagov and Rogue X Terrorist. So, good game to all.